our 16 years of education our 16 years of hard work have gone in drain but i feel that this robs students like me of uh, the overall experience that we envisioned ourselves having when we decided to pursue education abroad. I hope we don't let it uh, jeopardize our creativity even though it has already jeopardized our plans. I did not attend the last lecture. I did not take the last selfie and I could not say goodbye to my friends. Everyone, my name is Matisha Sharma and I am one of the many graduates of the class of 2020. I did my undergraduation in law from Symbiosis Law School, Hyderabad. My plan for 2020 was to pursue my masters um, abroad, specifically from Canada. Um, however, my plans were negatively impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak. So initially, universities were supposed to release decisions uh, by April 2020. However, uh, they have now informed me that uh, the processing time of the applications is going to be delayed in light of the pandemic. Um, also, uh, some other universities are planning to conduct six months online teaching and the rest of the six months um, on-campus teaching. But I feel that this robs students like me of uh, the overall experience that we envisioned ourselves having uh, when we decided to um, pursue education abroad. Additionally, I also feel that uh, online teaching cannot replace um, classroom teaching and practical experience. In light of the current situation, there, are, there is a lot of decision making involved and I feel there are three options which are best suited to master students. Um, firstly, universities are now giving the option to students to defer their admission to a future term. So students who do not want to uh, put a stop to their master's plans can opt for this one. Secondly, um, due to the delay caused, um, a lot of students have an enormous amount of free time so I think this time can be used to work or intern um, but considering that the job market right now is highly affected for this reason uh, this time can be used for self-reflection um, learning new skills or pursuing passions thirdly uh, if students do not want to risk going to another country during this time, they can always pursue a master's from India itself because some of the best universities are present here. I think this decision will vary from person to person uh, according to their wants and requirements. Uh, this pandemic is very unfortunate but uh, I think students need to stay optimistic and keep moving forward. Hi, my name is Anisha Bhakchandani and I'm a final semester student of fashion designing from NIFT Mumbai, although I would have been a graduate by now. We were in the middle of making our final collection when college had to shut down due to the pandemic. And um, not only are we not sure if we'll get to complete our collection, but due to the circumstances, we don't know when our end terms will be held and when we're going to graduate. Personally, I had planned to work for a year after graduating and then going abroad for my master's but looking at the situation, um, I don't think I'll be able to get the work experience that I desired not to mention that the job market is at an all-time low. I have classmates who are supposed to start their master's this year but they will not be able to do that if they haven't graduated by September. Um, we have all worked really really hard for the last four years and even though every creative field right now has been impacted due to the situation i hope we don't let it uh, jeopardize our creativity even though it has already jeopardized our plans my name is ankit and i am pursuing english journalism from indian institute of mass communication new delhi uh, i'm about to pass out next month we have our online exams scheduled next week and uh, right now an online placement drive is going on and the condition is really bad I mean uh, only a few companies turned up and even they are not offering a decent package and uh, uh, throughout, the, throughout the year we were looking forward to 
uh, working in our dream companies and they didn't turn up uh, in fact uh, they are laying off employees right now and uh, given the bad situation given the bad condition of our economy given the bad state of economy i am not surprised that uh, the companies are not willing to hire right now and uh, our future it seems really precarious right now we have no idea when we are going to get placed and uh, i know a few of my batchmates who desperately need a job right now as uh, they have to support their family and uh, some of them have completed their post graduation before joining iimc so they need a job badly right now and we have no idea when it's going to happen uh, the administration is trying its level best but uh, they can't help it i mean the condition of our economy is so bad there are no jobs in our economy uh, i just hope that the situation improves as soon as possible and uh, all of us get get paid somewhere thank you hi i am asta jain part of class of 2020 i am pursuing my bachelor's in materials and metallurgical engineering from punjab engineering college i was supposed to be a graduate in may 2020 and be working in some company in the industry by now but of course it is not happening on graduation front my college says that they will be giving us degrees by this month most probably by the end of this month but honestly i don't think it is true this is basically because of two reasons a being my college administration they um, rolls out new rule new rules every day and uh, B being the HRD ministry, who gives out new statements every day without even uh, taking into account the student situation, the uh, director's point of view, or institutions uh, on the whole. Uh, on a job front, I was supposed to be working in a company. I was placed in about nine months ago this month, but again, that is also not happening. the company is not sure about its own existence its own future so they cannot worry about us at this point of time i know a lot of my friends are going through same they are losing their jobs they are um, future planning has all been shattered they're losing their scholarships and what not uh, our 16 years of education our 16 years of hard work have gone in drain we always waited for one graduation day for our dreams to come true but i don't know that will happen or not but i hope that we get everything we always dreamt of and nothing less than that i hope we all rise and shine out of it i hope we all are remembered as a batch that stood its ground in time of the storm i wish all my fellow class of 2020 and all my batch mates best of luck thank you hi i am matra dawar and i have done my mba from uh, wellankar institute of mumbai Uh, I am a pass out of uh, batch 2020, and uh, uh, my career has also been affected uh, by this pandemic. Uh, so I was uh, placed quite initially during the placement season of Telangana, uh, which started in October, and uh, I was placed then only. Uh, but because of this, I did not uh, actually network enough, and uh, I did not try uh, to uh, contact companies uh, from outside uh, the college. So yes, uh, the year 2020 did not go very well. Uh, quite unexpected and uh, not in a positive sense. Uh, I am uh, officially done with my college life. Uh, the uh, sad thing about this is that I uh, did not attend the last lecture. Uh, I did not take the last selfie, and uh, I could not uh, say goodbye to my friends.